Oh, I got, I'm so excited, and I'm, I'm always nervous when I first come out here. Can you imagine? Who wants to speak in front of this many people? Anybody want to speak in front of this many people? Are you sure? Look at all of you. It's craziness. Now, look, I remember the first time I had to come out and train this many people. I was backstage, and I was like this. I think I had to do my makeup twice because I was sweating it off, right? And then all of a sudden, Spencer Hunt sees me. And Spencer Hunt looks at me, and he comes up to me, and he goes like this. Get a grip! Calm down! Relax! You're going to do great! Okay! Okay! He goes, come on, you're going to be out there, you're going to be a champ, you're going to go awesome. Okay! Okay! I can do this! Yes, you can do this! You can do this! Come on! And you know what he did? He went out and sat right in front of me and looked at me the whole time and cheered me on the whole time while I was doing my very first training. Isn't that awesome? That awesome? I love him for that. And we're very fortunate. That's the kind of people we have in this company. We're so blessed to have them, uh, leaders like that. I'm so excited to do that. And, and because of that, you know, that first thing, I just feel like, now look, are you going to be nervous to come up here? Yeah, we, you know, the people that speak, just so you guys all know, we prepare a lot. We do a lot of preparation for this. We do a lot of get ready. It takes us a long time, weeks and weeks and weeks to get ready for this. And so can we give a big hand for all the people that come here and train you and all the co-founders, all the pro Let's give them all a big hand, guys. All a big hand. Because they do this for all of you to help you build your business, and that's why we're here to help all of you. Okay, and that's what I'm excited about. And, um, and I, like, this topic I love. Because it was this topic that actually had me build ACN. Because before I really understood this topic, I was horrible at ACN. You know, I made, I made almost no money in two and a half years. I joined ACN, and I was basically no money. Can anybody relate? Can anybody, like, you know, not start off really good? Good, that's just, I wasn't one of these people that got started and made a lot of money right away. I was very bad because this topic that, I'm gonna, that we're going to go and cover today about how do you recruit and launch somebody, I just wasn't, I didn't understand. I thought, when you sign somebody up, they're going to go do what you did. Uh, no. That doesn't happen. Everybody learned that lesson? We all learned that lesson. So this topic is the topic that makes all your dreams come true. Who wants to have all their dreams come true? This is the topic, okay? So if you're ready to have, make all your dreams come true, this is the topic that you want to have. And here's why. Because if you get this topic, and you get good at these two things, which is recruiting somebody into the business and launching them properly, you're gonna be, you can have the opportunity to make a business grow without you. How would you like to have a business grow without you? Raise your hand if you'd like to have a business grow without you. That's the whole point of building this business. So you can have time and money together at the same time. That's how you do it. Now why? why? How can you make your business come? It was very simple. See, ACN is a couple of things that allows us to do this. Number one, ACN is a network marketing company. And because you're a network marketing company, we could build an organization of people that then grows without us. That's what, that's what we're building. We're building a network. So instead of building a bunch of stores and a bunch of headaches, right, and a bunch of franchises that stress us out and have all these headaches that go along with it, we're just building people, a volunteer army all over the world that we can build. And it's so what we got to do, we got to learn how to recruit them, train that, and then launch them successfully so they start their own store themselves and become successful themselves. And I say, if you can do that, then you can build a massive organization that grows all over the world without you. So who wants that model? Ready? That's what we're going to learn, okay? So how do we do that? It's very simple. We're going to learn how to become master recruiters and trainers. Because it's be through becoming a master recruiter that you're gonna be able to do this. Look, I've got a crazy life right now, an insane life. I love my life. You know, my dad is not well, and I get to spend as much time with him as I can now, you know, watch him in his, his last few, whatever time he's got left on this earth, because I have that time and money together. That's one of the reasons why I started in ACN. You know, one of my dreams was to have my own pilot's license one day. So I had the time to actually go study and become a pilot. Now, some people would question if I'm good or not yet, but that's not the point. The point is I have my pilot's license, right? You know, sometimes you land on one bounce. It's okay. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> so 
the plane is tough, it can handle that, okay? It's kind of funny, okay? So it's amazing that we can have that kind of lifestyle, but it starts with this topic and how to do that. So that comes all through the ACN system. So the ACN's created this incredible system, online store, services, product. ACN's created everything for all. Isn't the ACN system the best in the world? It's the best financial system, period, in the world. You know, here's what I like to say. ACN did not invent capitalism. We just perfected it. Is that what true? We perfected capitalism, the greatest business system in history. We can, do, we can build a business as big as we want. We have unlimited wealth potential. We can grow it anywhere we want. We can literally live anywhere we want. That's ACN is in, and you can build your business. It's a phenomenal opportunity for all of us. So here's the first thing you have to learn is how to become a master recruiter and then teach it. Now, how many of you, tell the truth, struggle with this topic? Raise your hand. How many of you have a tough time recruiting, okay? And that's fine. Most people are the same way. I was the same way. Most people, you know, have a tough time. I have one IBO that has a tough time, had a tough time recruiting. They have to learn a few things to do it. First, let's talk about the basics. So what are the basics? If you can't get past the basics, you can never learn recruiting. So the first basic is you got to create a contact list. How many of you have a contact list? Good. If you don't, strike one, okay? So you got to have a contact list. And you got it, whether you're an ETT or a QTT or brand new or you're an RD or every peer, SVPs, we still have contact lists. In fact, my contact list today is bigger than when I first started. Why? Because I'm always meeting people and putting them on my contact list. You never stop recruiting. One of the things about ACN is you never stop recruiting. Now, here's the cool thing about recruiting. Once you get good at it, you can't stop yourself. Is that true? You can't, I can't stop myself from recruiting. It's just like breathing. It's just part of the deal. It's just part of what we do. It's just how we do it. It just becomes part of your life. And so you can't help yourself. That's the funny part. But are you willing to go through being bad to get to that level? Even if it took you two years, if it took you three years or five years, and it, it took you that long to become a master recruiter, is it worth it? Obviously, because then you build a business that grows without you, and then you can teach it. Because if you, can you teach something, you don't know what you're doing. No, so you got to go through the basics yourself and learn. Now, here's the one thing I also learned. Don't prejudge anybody. Don't, you know, somebody prejudged me. You know, somebody called me three months before I joined ACN and asked me to be an ACN customer. Back then, we only had long distance. She did the right, actually, did the right, he did the right script on me. I became an ACN customer. He never asked me if I was interested in the opportunity. Three months later, another gentleman, one of my best friends, Mr. Marcin, calls me and asks me to look at ACN. So I went to a meeting, and I'm looking at this. I'm thinking, ACN? I'm an ACN customer. What is this about? I don't understand. And I'm looking at the presentation. I'm looking, and then I'm getting angrier and angrier and angrier. Why? Because I could have been in three months before. So I leave the meeting, and I call this gentleman up, and I said, guess where I'm at, where I just left. He goes, where? I'm at an ACN meeting. He goes, you're where? At an ACN meeting. And I'm joining under this gentleman because he brought me to the meeting. And I'm taking myself back as a customer. <laughs> Do you think he was happy? So repeat after me. I will not prejudge anybody. <laughs> don't we all agree, guys? Let's tell the truth. We all, how, raise your hand. How many of you know people are going to kill this business? Raise your hand if you know people are going to criticize this business. Don't you know that? How many of you guys know people that won't do anything? Raise your hand. Didn't I tell you not to prejudge anybody? <laughs> okay, strike two. No pre yes, no prejudging. You don't know, okay? The next thing you want to do is learn the inviting script. And at the beginning, just keep it simple. I say as little as, when I first started, I was trained to say as little as possible. That's just what I did. Hey, let's meet for coffee. Let me show, I gotta show you something. You wanna make some extra money? Great, I got a great opportunity to look at. Like keep it, when you first start, you just gotta be excited, keep it super simple. The more excited you are, the more you hyperventilate, the faster people will come and look at what you got. Just be excited and, and keep it simple. Don't, I'll give you an example. When I first started, there's a gentleman I called, his name was Lori. And I said, Lori? He goes, he goes what? He goes, I got an, we gonna make some extra money? I went through the whole script. He goes, yeah, I guess great. I'm, ha I'm hosting a VIP little get together at my house. Uh, can you clear your schedule and be there? He goes, what's it about? I said, I can't get into it on the phone. I actually got to go. And he goes, no, 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 Franco. If you don't tell me what this is, I'm not coming. You know what I said to him? Don't come. I hung up the phone. <laughs> now, you know what he did? 
here was he did. He called my other friends to see what I was doing. Now, guess what I told my other friends? The same thing. So now they're all curious, yes? If I had told one of them, they all would have cracked. But I didn't say anything to all of them. So my, P my first PBR was on Sunday at 5, okay? So I'm getting it all ready. I'm all excited because I'm hosting my first PBR. And the doorbell, ding, ding, rings at 4.30. So I, I look through the peephole. Oh, it's my friend Lori. And this is how, this is how he walks in through the door, ready? Because he, he called everybody to check, so he didn't know what was going on. Here's him, ready? It goes like this. I open the door, and he goes, what are you doing here? This better be good. This better be good. <laughs> That's what he did. I said, well, you're going to love it. Who do you think was the first person to join? Here's one thing I've learned. Curio you ever heard the saying, curiosity killed the cat? Well, it also gets human beings. We just like, who, who do, wants to be left out of anything? Anybody? Nobody wants to be left out. Everybody wants to be inclusive. Everybody wants to be included. So you have to create it like this really exclusive thing. That's what I used to, that's how I used to create it. And I had a lot of fun with that. You can be creative. You can, look, you can invite however you want that's fun for you and it's creative for you. I'll give you another example. I have one IBO. He calls me up and he says, Franco, I need you to do a home meeting for me at 12 midnight. What? 12 midnight. He goes, yeah, can you? I go, who's going to come to your house? At, this is me. Like, who's going to come to your house at 12 midnight? He goes, no, no, no. you got to come to my house. I promise I'll be, but you got to come at midnight. I go, wait a minute, just trust you. Trust me. He goes, well, I don't know, but uh, midnight. Who's going to be awake? I'm, I'm not even sure I'm going to be awake. He goes, no, you, just come, please. I go, okay, fine. I'll come, but you better have people there. I get to this house at midnight, okay? He's got six people there. I do the presentation. They all join. So I said to him, I said, what did you do to get these, what did you say to get these people to come at midnight? I said, here's what I said. I called him up. I said, you want to make some money? My house, midnight. Don't be late. <laughs> I go, he goes, I don't want any tire kickers. Either you're serious or get the heck out of my way. Because sometimes, don't we try to make it too comfortable for people to come see the presentation? Well, don't we want people that are serious, that are hungry, that want, have desires, that other people are looking for? So sometimes maybe you don't make it so comfortable for them. It was awesome, right? And then when you, but whatever script you're going to use, and I don't, you know, look, I know your uplines teach you scripts, so you should follow whatever they're teaching you. But here's what I will tell you. Practice the script. Don't just start making phone calls because in your head, what you're thinking and then what comes out of your mouth are not the same thing. How many of you have noticed that? There is something, I know it's a short distance, but weird stuff happens in between the brain and the mouth. Weird stuff. So practice. Can we all practice? Yeah, so we're all going to practice, okay? And if you're launching somebody, you practice with them. So and make sure someone's list, don't just be practicing by yourself because who knows? Sometimes what we're saying may sound logical to us, but another human being, they're like totally confused. Okay, so make, record yourself. Whatever you got to do. I, look, you got, I, I think this. You got one shot at your war market. Don't blow it. Because that war market can make you millions of dollars in a business that grows without you. And then learn how to do three-way calls. How do you do a three-way call? Well, have your upline teach you. Have your upline TCRD or repeat teach you. How do you do a three-way call? How do you make phone calls? You know, how do I get somebody on the phone? If you're like still not sure of what to say, you, you've talked too much. Anybody ever talk too much to somebody? Ever that happened to you? Anybody here suffer from verbal diarrhea? Anybody suffer from that? Okay? So learn how to put somebody else on the phone if you've done that so they can get them to the proper presentation and do that. And then also learn how to do confirmation calls. How do you follow people to confirm them to come? So they, they're actually coming now to the presentation. Those are all the skills you've got. Those, that's all the basics of ACN to learn that. And each of you have different scripts that you're taught and, and trained on. And I don't want to get interfere with that with the organization. But learn those scripts and teach and understand them and learn them. And so know what they are. So you're becoming more, it's a skill. It's a whole skill to learn people. And in a few minutes, I'm going to teach you the ultimate secret to recruiting. How many of you guys want to know the ultimate secret to recruiting? Okay, I'm going to teach you the ultimate secret so, so you can recruit any, anyone. Literally, you can literally have the experience for yourself that you can recruit anybody, anytime. Okay? Now, one of the other things I've also learned is to recruit up. Because if you recruit, but look, I'm a senior vice president, but I've also recruited people that are way smarter than me. Is that a good thing? Yeah, so I recruit so I recruit people smarter than me. I'm senior vice president. Oh, I look like a genius. I'm not a genius. I just recruited people that are smarter than me. They make me look really good. That's the deal. So how do you recruit up? I remember one time I was recruiting uh, a gentleman. His name was Mr. Campbell. He's a big time developer um, in Toronto, where I'm from. And Mr. Campbell, 
Mr. Campbell, yeah, go to Toronto. Mr. Campbell uh, was an, he's a big time developer, and I called him up, and I was a little nervous. So I said, hey, Mr. Campbell, this is Franco LaFranco calling. He goes, Franco, hey, Franco, how are you? He's always nice and friendly to me. And I said, Mr. Campbell, look, I am uh, right now a little nervous because uh, I look up to you so much. You've built some amazing businesses, and I'm about to get started in my own little business here. Before I spend too much time and money, I would really love for you to look at what I'm doing and give me your opinion and maybe give me some referrals. What do you think he said? I'd be happy to, of course, because people that have achieved that kind of success, at that point, they just love to help people. Now, unless they're evil, that's different, okay? If you have evil people, then you know, okay, don't call this person, they're evil, okay? Put them on their evil list, okay? But for the most part, don't people want to help you? Yeah, but if you're humble and you go with that approach and you ask for that, they'll, they'll be happy to show. So I show them the business, and he gave me 10 names. Because, Franco, this is great. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't be something I want to do. I said, don't worry, Mr. Campbell, I wasn't trying to recruit, I just wanted some 10 names. So he gave me uh, 10 names. Of those 10, two joined. And here's what I said. When I called those people, I said, hey, Mr. Uh, my name is Franco LaFranco. You don't know who I am. But Mr. Campbell gave me, I showed Mr. Campbell a business opportunity, and right away he thought of you. I don't know why he thought of you. Do you have time to meet me for a coffee so I can explain to him this incredible business opportunity that we're now expanding globally with? Almost all of them said yes. And of those two joined. Isn't that powerful? Because when a very successful business person makes that referral, isn't that very powerful? I didn't even have to know them. So that's that, so always try to recruit up, recruit better people. And I, I look, I've signed up multi-millionaires in TACN. I even signed up a billionaire in TACN. We I personally, so we, we and other people have signed up very successful people in ACN. You can if you recruit up, it's amazing. Wealthy people, by the way, they're just like you and I. They're no different than anybody else, very wealthy people. Uh, a lot of them love to help people. A lot of them love to make a difference for people. They just do. So go after them. Talk to them like you normally would. Don't be intimidated by them. Don't be scared by them. So can we all go and talk to successful people, yes? Or don't be intimidated. They're all the same as everybody else, okay? They're normal people. And get referrals. I, when I go after a big, I call them big sharks, I don't go after them to recruit them personally. Just me. I go after them to get referrals. If they want to join, hey, fantastic, we'll put them into the, because once they see the business, a lot of them want to join. But it doesn't mean everybody wants to join. So I, my whole goal, when I go, my whole mindset is not necessarily to recruit them, my whole mindset is to get referrals, okay? Now, what if you could recruit anyone, anytime? How would you like to have, to know that you could do that? Anybody like to have that experience? Okay, what if you literally, how do you, how would you do that? Well, to do that, you gotta become a master recruiter. How do you become a master recruiter? First of all, you have to know who you are. You can't be broke and go to somebody who's a millionaire and say, hey, you wanna make some extra money? How are they gonna listen to you? Okay, you're a little cuckoo. I don't think so. So they're not, gonna, they're, not, they're not exactly gonna be forthcoming to look at what you got. So you have to know who you are and you have to be a little humble when it comes to people like that. At the same time, you know, if, you, if there's somebody who looks up to you, be a little bit more forceful. Them. Hey, I got something for you. This is gonna change your life. We gotta meet right now, let's go, let's, let me show you this opportunity. You, so you have to know who you are in relationship to the person you're calling. And when you can learn that, you can literally understand the inviting process, the scripts to, to use, what you have to learn, okay? So that's number one. Number two, you gotta become someone people wanna work with. And this is the hardest part to train on. Here's the question you wanna ask yourself. Do I attract people or repel them? There's no in between, I'm sorry. Either you're attracting people to you in a given moment or you're repelling them in a given moment. There's no in between. So your business right now is a direct function of that. What it looks like right now is a direct function of that, good or bad. Can you be with whatever that is? And your whole goal in ACN is to be an attracting machine. That people want to be part of your life. They can't wait to join your team. Even if they just met you, they're mesmerized by who you are. Do you have charisma? Are you a, a sharp dresser? Or do you look like something Goodwill just brought in? What do you look like? You gotta dress sharp. You wanna attract people, you gotta dress sharp. I'm sorry, people judge you within the first few seconds. Is this somebody I wanna work with? Or is this somebody I wanna run from? And they're not gonna tell you I don't wanna work with you. They're not gonna tell you I wanna run from you. You gotta figure out for yourself. Have you noticed the our regional vice president, senior vice president, we kind of all look the same? Have you noticed that? Take a clue. We're all kind of similar. 
for a reason. It works. We've become, we've actually altered ourselves and become somebody we've never been before. Can you do that? Are you willing to let go of what you've been for the possibility of what it could be by becoming somebody you've never been? Don't ask me to repeat that. Because <laughs> I can. It sounded good though. Okay? Are, and here's the, one of the two most important things. Number one, do you have fun? Are you a fun person? Do you like to have a blast with people? Do you make people feel comfortable around you or do you like make them all worried what they think? Are you always judging people? Are you assessing them? And does that come through you in your mouth in different ways? So are people feel safe around you? Are you creating a safe space where people can share with you anything that's going on in their life and that you can, are you creating that for yourself? And then are you taking that fun and not take them so seriously? Guys, we are in the people business and people want, aren't, don't you want to feel safe? Don't you want to have fun? Don't you want to be in that kind of environment? Don't you feel that way right now? That's what you want to build in your organization inside of ACN. That's what you want to create. Because here's the bottom line. We are vibrational beings. What does that mean? At the core of who we are is energy. That's why we are attracting or repelling, attracting or repelling, attracting or repelling. The goal is to be excited all the time, to feel good all the time. It really is. I know, look, we're all dealing with stuff. I know that we're all having issues with stuff. Some of you are in the process of losing your home. Some of you are unemployed right now. Look, we're all in different areas. Some of you are in the middle of a divorce. Some of you are having issues with your family. Some of you are in all different, I get it. But happiness is a choice in the moment, regardless of your circumstances. And no one can take that away from you. No one. See, right now, right now, watch this. Right now, you're feeling the way you're feeling. Right now, you can be happy. Try it. Be happy right now. Be happy. OK? So OK, that moment has passed. Be happy again. OK? OK, that moment has passed. Be happy again. OK, that moment has passed. Be happy again. Isn't that awesome power you have? You have incredible power. That's your power. I love that. And no one can take that away from you, so don't let anybody take that away from you. It's your happiness. You can be happy any moment, any time, regardless of your circumstance, regardless of what's happening in your life, regardless of what anybody's telling you. You can be happy. They can tell you ACN is crazy. Good. I'm happy. Say, I'm quitting ACN. Good. I'm happy. Whatever. I'm, not, I'm never going to come work with you. Great. I'm happy. Whatever. You're happy. You get to choose that in the moment. I love that. And when I learned that and that power, I said, you know what? No one can ever steal my power from me because in that moment, I get to choose and say how my life's going to go and nobody else is. <laughs> awesome. And all leaders, that's what we've learned to do. If you're going to be a leader, can you care about what other people think about you? No. By the way, do you want to know exactly what other people think about you? You want to know? Who wants to know what other people think about them? Okay. Exactly what you think about them. And who cares? So we spend our whole life, our whole life worrying about what people are going to think about. Is that true? We spend our whole life, what are they going to think and who's going to think and what are they going to think and uh, all this stuff. We, we're, we're like we're panicked. But what's, here's what's funny. We all end up in the same place. Dead. We all end up in the same place. So here's what's funny. We live our whole life concerned and worried about what are other people going to think. And then one day we die. Okay, we're dead. And so everybody's crying, woo, you know, oh, we're going to be, uh, and they bury you, right? Or whatever you, whatever you believe happens to you when you die, right? So they put you in the casket or whatever they do, and they put everybody's crying, woo, everybody's crying. And then all, all of a sudden they bury you, and they say a few prayers, and they boom, you go underneath the ground, woo, okay, and then the ceremony's over, and then your one guy looks the next, and he goes, okay, where are we going for coffee? <laughs> Isn't that what happens? And we're worried our whole life about what people are going to think. Instead of just getting out there and living our life and living our dreams. Is that awesome? It's awesome. Okay? All right. So let's get into the secret to recruiting. Here is the secret to recruiting. Okay? Here's the secret. The secret to recruiting is this. I'm so excited. What if you can recruit anybody anytime, like you really had that experience? So for, first, I got to ask you a few questions. Number one, who is recruiting about? Is recruiting about you? Is it about you being a team coordinator? Is it about you becoming a regional director or a regional vice president crossing the stage? Is it about you being recognized? 
is about you making money? Is that what it's about? Is it about you being financially free? Is that what recruiting is about? Because if recruiting is about that, here's how you'll know, okay? You're gonna, you're gonna experience fear, you're gonna experience anxiety, and you're gonna experience a lot of stress. That phone is gonna weigh like a thousand pounds. It's gonna be, have you ever noticed why it's so hard sometimes just pick up the phone and call people? That's a clue that now it's about you and not other people. So if you're gonna become a master recruiter, and you're gonna learn the secret of ACN, it's gonna be, it can't be about you, because if it is about you, they're gonna experience pressure. You know, like the example that Spencer Hunt gave about the duck. Was that a great analogy that he gave with the ducks, right? And then they're chasing them with the brain, oh, and then they don't want it. They're gonna feel pressure. They're gonna have the experience of being sold, and that you don't care about them. That's what's gonna happen. But what if you can flip that? And all of a sudden, ACN became about them. What does that mean, it became about them? Here's what it means. It means you actually care about other people and where they're at in their life. Because look, ACN is all about timing. It doesn't matter how great a presenter you are. I've heard so many stories, even in my own organization, of people, the, the worst presentations, but they joined and went right at the top. Why? Because it was the right time in their life. So when it becomes about that, when it becomes about helping other people, that's what's going to come. Okay, can we change the slide for a second, please? Thank you. So when it, becomes, when it becomes about the people, it becomes easy and fun. It's not about you. So here's what you want to focus on. Focus and listen for their why. Focus and listen for their life and helping them. And it's got to be genuine. It can't be this technique. And look, you know how you're going to literally help other people? You have to get over yourself. A lot of you are still not over yourselves. A lot of you think way too highly of yourselves or all your issues in your past and all that baggage you got, you gotta let that go. That is no place in ACN and helping people. You gotta let all that go so you're there fully present helping people wherever they are in your organization. And it's gotta be a genuine, authentic on your behalf. It cannot be a technique. So how do you use the secret to know that? Once you know it's not about you, it's about helping how do you use the secret? It's very simple. You gotta become a great, phenomenal, outstanding, incredible listener and question asker. You know, a lot of people I watch them trying to recruit, they're throwing up all over people. Oh, blah, 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 blah. you gotta do this and you have to do that. Blah, 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 blah. The poor person is like, what? They're bombarded. A lot of you are gonna leave here today and the first cab driver you see, poor guy, destroyed. The waiter, destruction. They look at you like you're a freak. Listen and ask questions. Actually be interested in their life. Actually be interested in their story. Actually be interested in how ACN can actually impact them before you even talk about ACN. Would that, wouldn't that be a way more powerful way to recruit somebody? Way more powerful. And you gotta do the whole thing with posture, excitement, and vision. And you put all that together, there is, I don't know how anybody would not want to join part of your team. I'm like, obviously not everybody will, but at least you'll know in your heart, man, I can recruit anybody. It's fun. It's easy. I can talk. I can talk. How many of you can just have a conversation with somebody? You have a simple conversation. Hey, how's your life going? What have you been up to? You know, that could be the, you know, I was with a gentleman in the, I'll tell you guys a funny story. I was a gentleman on the plane, and we were flying, this was a few months ago, and I just bought my airplane. I was so excited. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm, he goes, so, so where, where, where are you going? I said, oh, I just bought my own first plane. He goes, tell me about, oh, tell me about your plane. So I did that, I did that, I did that. I, I'm all excited about my, he goes, wow, you bought a plane? Wow, that's amazing. I was talking about my plane because I was so excited about my plane. I was like going crazy. Oh, man, I was throwing pictures. Oh, my God, man, you must make a lot of money. I said, well, I can't complain. You know, I can't, I'm doing pretty good. And uh, then I started asking questions about him and his life and how he's suffering and struggling and all that. So I started getting questions about into him, into him, into him. And then he goes, so tell me what you do. I said, okay, so I got four hours of them in the plane, and I was like, explain ACN to him. So I explained ACN, you know what he said? What do you think he said? I don't think that's gonna work. I'm looking at him like, you're kidding me. I said, you know, well, here's what I said. You're right, I don't think it would work. Switch topics. I switched topics, never talking about ACN the rest of the flight. I just kept talking about him and his life and him and his life and him and his life. At the end of the flight, here's what he said. He goes, you know what, give me a call. I want to talk more about ACN. I can see how it might impact my life. 
I didn't even say anything else after that. He got it for himself. <laughs> Listener, question asker. Now, what do you do with somebody once you, they've joined? Well, you gotta learn how to launch them properly. And until I learned this part, I was horrible in ACN. One of the reasons why I was horrible in ACN, for two and a half years when I recruited somebody, they would die. I recruited somebody, they would die. I recruited somebody else, they would die. Why? I never launched them properly. I thought, okay, when they join, they're gonna go do what I did. Yeah, I don't think so. So what I had to learn, and I was, I was actually irresponsible, it really came from not caring about them and their success. It was all about me and my success. And not, not even caring if they're gonna be successful and setting up the right way. So when I actually started to care about helping somebody else become successful, the launching just became, oh, I gotta help them. A, number one, I gotta help them get people and get into their war market and teach them how to invite because they don't know how to invite and they can just destroy their war market. And number two, I gotta help get qualified and get a few customers. I can do that. They've got a successful launch to their store. So that's what I did. So you always wanna make sure you get the proper environment when you launch somebody. What's the proper environment? Well, just make sure that you schedule a time with the independent business owner to get going, a quiet location, no interruptions. Uh, make sure the new IBOs have the right items with them, their social security or social insurance number, depending on what country you're in, credit card, calendar, contact, all the stuff they need to help them get started, all their bills, have them bring all their bills. And we have so many services now that, you know, when I was launching people at the beginning, we only had long distance, we only had one bill to worry about. Now it's everything, which is awesome, get all these crazy points, but make sure they bring their bills because they don't remember anything of what they have. So I try never to launch somebody unless they have all their bills with them. And then make sure you have your launch document with you, your laptop, internet access, because what happens if their internet goes down, if you're at their house or something, always make sure you've got an, an air card and a laptop always ready to go. Have your calendar with them because you're gonna book uh, information with them. And then your product service sheet so they can fill that out and teach them how to do one so that when you go, when they go into their more market, they'll already know how to do one, okay? Now, when you're launching somebody, here's the first step. Very important. I always wanna know their why, especially if I'm launching somebody, I just met them for the first time, because another IBO had me launch them, I wanna make sure I understand their why. Why do they wanna do ACN? Because that's ultimately what I'm supporting them with and helping them do. Yeah, they wanna make money, but for what? Family, friends, mortgage, debt, what, what are you doing? That's what I wanna know, number one. Number two, I wanna know that I created the right mindset for them, so I wanna teach them the compensation plan. Even before I have anybody join, let me show you make money. I want them thinking revenue, not expense, when they first join. Because I'm gonna show them how they're gonna make the money back. I'm gonna show them they're gonna make the quick start bonus. I'm gonna show them the importance of getting qualified and what that means to your organization as it grows. Because we're if we're gonna build a business that grows without you, then we gotta create the right system and create the right mindset. I teach them that, you know, that it, look, we're gonna be talking to some people now, and some people are gonna be positive, negative, we don't care. We're just gonna talk to as many people as we want. No opinions, no judgments about anything. So we're gonna teach them how to get good at peaking. We're gonna teach them how to get good at recruiting. We're teaching them good at inviting. So what do I do? I make phone calls with them. I'm not gonna launch somebody and not make phone calls with them. That'd be horrible because they don't know what they're saying. You know, that's what I wanna do. I wanna teach them how to do that. Why? Because you've got two choices in ACN. Think about this. Look at all the hard work you spend sometimes recruiting somebody and they finally join. And then if you're not gonna sit there and do that work and get there, what, where all that hard work go? Anybody launch somebody, didn't, they did nothing? Didn't even get qualified? disappear for the rest of their life? Anybody have that experience? Why? Because we didn't take the time with them at the beginning to do it right. Look, there'll be people I won't sign up because they're not willing to go through that process. I just won't sign them up. I just tell, you do whatever you want, it's your business, it's the beauty of ACN, I just won't do it. Why would I want to take their 500 bucks so they can fail and give, them, just, and give ACN a bad name? I will not ruin ACN's reputation because of my selfishness. Just because I'm excited because somebody joined for 500 bucks. I won't do that. You want a global ACN business? I got the keys. I got the magic key. You want the key? You gotta do what I say. Sorry. I'm not gonna give you the keys. What, what do I want you to do? I want you to, I need to understand your why. I want to get the comp, I want you to explain, understand the comp plan, and I want you to help me invite some people. Put some people in front of me, because we're gonna go build your business. And so to break the ice sometimes, what I do is I have them schedule some one-on-ones. So we schedule some one-on-ones, okay? Why? Because it's like, hey, call your buddy, just tell me you got to meet for a coffee. That always breaks the ice for them, because sometimes just starting right away to invite for a whole meeting can put too much pressure on them. So that's why I just say, hey, just, let's meet two or three people. Meet for, who's the first person you thought of? Oh, so-and-so, great. Let's go meet him for a quick coffee. And then I set up a couple, two, three one-on-ones, now they're all excited. I said, no, you know, if these people join, that's gonna be, make you ETT. How would you like to be an ETL this week? What? Really? He goes, yeah, let's have a whole meeting, let's bowl this up. Okay. 
and now they're excited to make more phone calls. Now I'll still practice with them, and I'm gonna be there when they make a lot of their phone calls. I try to make 10 to 20 phone calls with a new IBO, just so they're getting comfortable and breaking the ice, so they're not saying and doing the wrong things, okay? And after I've done that, now how, how excited do you think they are to join, to get going, to get qualified? Because now they understand, if these people are coming in, they're joining, they're not qualified, they don't have their seven points, they're not EGT, where are they gonna go? Nothing, so they're, they're not gonna make any money. So I explain it to them, they understand that now. So now they're excited, they're pumped up, they're ready to go. So we get them customers at the business, we get themselves, their own services as much as we can, and off we go, and we start, we start going with them and signing them up, and it's awesome, it's powerful. They're excited, they're juiced up. We get their online store going, they get to see all the things and stuff, but now it's fun. Now I become, now, now by the way, you wanna keep the whole thing fun, the whole thing light. Because look, you have a short window of time with this person. A lot of times, if you're launching somebody in your organization, do you necessarily know them? You don't, so you've got that short window to become their friend. Have a great time with them, make the whole, don't make it painful, it's gonna be two or three hours, that's how much I, I spend with somebody when I'm launching them, why? Because I wanna make sure they get the right story, and that duplicates in my team, so they're each teaching each other how to do that. Because I'm all about quality. I want good quality people that we're creating great leaders in our business, and that's what we're all doing, okay? So once they create the online store, I said, listen, you're gonna be playing with this tonight, have fun with it, have a great time, look through all the different states and provinces and countries, have a great time with everything. And then after we've done that, then we, we get them into the training. We schedule all their trainings in their calendar, and off they go. Okay, so put all their, and, then, and then what's gonna happen at the end? You've got to look at the results you've got. You've got a brand new excited IBO. They've got meeting schedules and guests confirmed, right? So they're pumped up, they're going crazy, oh my God, how many of you are excited right now? Think of that IBO. They're excited already, they, they can't wait to go. They're, who wants to go invite right now? Ready to get, who wants to make some phone calls right now, right? And by the way, ACN gave you a great sheet in your package in your, uh, when you signed up. There's a sheet there that has you, when, as soon as you leave here, or while you're here, fill up all those things and go complete all those things. It's a great thing to keep you on track while you're gone to give you some incredible results. So take advantage of that sheet that ACN put in front of you. So you got a great, you got an excited IBO. They're clear in their why, their actions moving forward, what they got to do, they're empowered. And here's the most important part. They got to know, they know they have somebody that has their back. Don't you have their back? You got their back, they know you got their back, they have someone who's gonna support them, actually there to them to help, they know you're there to help them to build their business, okay? And they're on fire and they're ready to go. And that's what I love about ACN, that we're there to help people and help them create what they gotta do. And so think about this, imagine you doing that with somebody, and then that starts to duplicate and grow, because what you also wanna do is teach other IBOs the exact same thing to build that. What's gonna happen to your team one year, two years, three years down the road? What kind of production are you gonna have? What's gonna be happening to her? They're gonna be on fire, guys. You're gonna be able, you're gonna be, have massive duplication all over the world. And that's how we're gonna change people's lives, through that simple system where we can play together, have a great life together, share together, guys. We're very blessed to be in ACN. Have a great rest of the weekend. Acknowledge every single person to come up here because they're here to help you guys. God bless everybody. Have a great weekend.